I was born at Mankayane. I was born in 28 November 1982. I like to share my story about domestic violence and how it affected my life. Uh, I got married in June 2004. And I was happily married by the time until 2007, where everything changed. My husband started coming home very late. And when I tried to approach him, he got so angry and started to, to use verbal words to fight against me telling me that he's a man. Men do everything they want. Okay. That didn't sit well with me. I got patient until everything began to, to turn sour. Mm -hmm. Okay, I tried to to tell my in-laws about his behavior. But only to find out that the in-laws didn't care about my, my sorrow. They depend up my wounds. Then 2021, I got him arrested, thinking that the, the government will help, the police will help him. That didn't help. It got worse. By the time he was beating me, ish, he was beating me. Like I, it was hard to even wear my makeups. Being wounded all over the body. So in 2023, I made up my mind to go out of that matrimonial home and leave my husband there. And that thing also affected my son. My son is in South Africa. He doesn't want to come home because of his father's bad behaviors. So now I can be happy if I have a shelter, not for me only, even for other women who are abused. I can be happy for that, at least to find a shelter.
My name is Yvonne. I am a registered nurse. I work with um, the public of Eswatini. I have um, worked with uh, people from all walks of life, especially women and children. Most of them, you find that when they are in an abusive relationship, they are afraid to walk out because they believe the person who is abusing them is their breadwinner, the leader of the home, and a most of the time, somebody they've married. Families have contributed in um, making the situation worse in the sense that if you're married, your parents in our culture, they tell you that you are now a responsibility of your husband and you're supposed to live with him for life. If you seem to be wanting to walk out of uh, that marriage, they see it as a failure on their part in raising you up as a woman who would be able to look after herself and her family for life. So I believe having a center where these women would be equipped with psychosocial coping skills, knowing how to look after themselves after these encounters, and even being able to say, yes, I've seen other women who have been in the same situation and they are survivors. It would actually build up their self-esteem and bring them back to life. My name is Simpiwe Zamini. Uh, I am a teacher and I am a psychology student. Having worked with children and having been exposed to a lot of people who have survived gender-based violence, I have witnessed personally the impact, the significant impact that gender-based violence has on our children and women in the country. A place like Africa Mountain Mission will not only be a safe haven for abused and violated women, but it will also help women raise better children. Loving Hearts Women's Center will be a place where women begin to heal. They will then raise better children, they will bring up better families. We need a place like that where women can get counseling and be taken care of so that they can look after the children that they have and look after themselves. I am looking forward to working with Africa Mountain Mission because I think it will be the best place for women to grow and become the better version of themselves.